I talk? Can we talk? talk on some real me. nigga shit, on some real man shit. Yeah, for sure. We men, I, that's why I love having sit downs because we can talk as men. Um, I'm I'm one of the people until I get this interview because I do my research, right? But before I get the interview, I'm ignorant. I'm one of the people. I'm like, K Camp. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, been real, like yeah, he was hot. Mm-hmm. Like what what he what he been up to? Mm-hmm. Right hand to the man. Shout out to my brother. Morning after, the nigga put me on game. He showed me like you been having sold out tours. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I see people like actually talking about you, right? Mm-hmm. This is this is like ignorant me not knowing nothing yeah, sure. because I don't hear no 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 song that might be on the radio. For I don't sure. I really don't know nothing. For sure. And I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Yeah. Salute. <laughs> so, uh, real talk. So I'm like, this. It looked like you've been independent before you was For independent. Sure. For sure. But t- can you? I don't even know how to, the the questions to ask you. Can you talk to me about having real motion and niggas not knowing you have emotion, but the frustration that might come up, but behind it, talk to me about yeah. all that shit, all of it. Yo, what's popping? This episode is sponsored by Fidel Nero. It's a luxury, high quality, premium clothing line based out of Washington D.C. Listen, man, if you're trying to feel good, look good while you're feeling good, holla at my guys at Fidel and Nero. And they got all types of sizes. I mean, from little kids to grown-ups, from small people to big people. Whatever size you are, they got something that's going to fit you. You feel me? And we got a special promo code for you. Look, because I'm the GOAT, I got something special for you. All you got to do is enter promo code J-Hill, that's J-A-Y-H-I-L-L, and we're going to give you 23% off. Enter J-A-Y-H-I-L-L. And I'm giving you the GOAT price, baby. 23% off. Holla at my guys at Fidel and Nero. You know the vibes. That's a long story. Yeah, talk to me about the naysayers like me. Like, be real. Talk to yeah, me. Yeah, from, from, from what you just said, you know what I'm saying? I done heard that a thousand times. But you can, you can, you can, you can pause for a second and say that about a hundred more artists. Not just K. Kemp. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, but a hundred more artists might not be doing shows or... Is yeah, that, but still, hundred more hours might be selling out shit. Okay, niggas, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you okay, feel me? Okay, talk to me. Get me right. Just, this, 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 right. This game, you know what I'm saying? You got you got independence and you got mainstream. You know, uh, it's two different worlds. Um, the major labels gonna feed the the public who they want to feed at that time. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Whoever got the whoever got the hottest song, that's who you gonna hear. You gonna hear the babies, the Megan the Stallions right now. You know what I'm saying? You hearing that all that right now? Two three years ago it was a whole different batch. Mm-hmm. Years before that it was a whole different. Batch. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a recycling game, but as far as me and, and my situation, how I've been, you know what I'm saying, we understood from the jump. My first project was called, my first mixtape was called A Star Was Born. The next one was Become a Fan, and it was Fan for Life. Mm. So from the jump, when I first got in the game, my whole niche, my whole goal was to grow a fan base, have a cult following. So no matter how this shit go, I got fans that's gonna ride, and I can sell out shows. I can do this and that. I can sell merch. I can always be profitable as an artist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But what 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 questions you want to know? Cause this shit, it's been it's been a long journey. You know what I'm saying? I was I was in a major label system. I'm newly independent. It's my first time being independent since like 2014. You know what I'm saying? Do the math. That's a long fucking time. So I'm used to being in a major label system, but I always put my own bread up. Right. I always took the biggest risk. You know what I'm saying? I always was the one like, nah, I need this, I need this. I'm not about to wait on nobody to, to shoot this video. I'm not about to wait on nobody to damn pay this person to get this shit going. So I always had that mindset just looking up niggas like P, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nip, uh, Ross. You know what I'm saying? All the big dogs in the game who, who be popping this shit like, this what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? How often were you going on tour? Um, At one point, I was doing like three tours a year. Okay. And at that point, and again, I'm just trying to like... I'm trying to talk from the how it happened. You wonder how that how that happened? Yeah. I right, break it down to you real quick. So before before I I, I decided to be a touring artist, I was doing I was doing club. I remember you spot saying dates. that. Yeah. And you called doing, your mom. You said. See, so so you on you on game. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. I forgot who the fuck told me, but it was a, it was an OG that told me like, Camp, if you want if you want to have longevity in this game, you can't keep doing the clubs. Mm. I was cool with the club, nigga. I got rich in the clubs. You know what I'm saying? Getting a I'm dollars. doing four, five, four, five, six shows a week. It, it, and it, you it, in the club? It's it getting to the hard. point. I'm telling, I'm telling the booking like, I don't even want to go do a show. Like, I'm getting so much money, I don't even want to go do a show. You mm-hmm. feel me? I, you know, blessings. If you're an artist, don't ever take that shit for granted, boy. That shit don't last forever unless you just. Whew. But 
you know, it would it would get to a point, you know what I'm saying? I was at a cap every time, like my cap was uh forty. I was okay. doing forties cause in the club? In the club. You must some big ass clubs or something. I was doing forties. <laughs> and, 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 and and it was in a contract with my label. If I went over a certain amount, they started getting a piece. So I stayed at like a I stayed at a certain balance. Okay. Like, I'm getting this out of me. You know okay. It's me and the team. You feel me? But it got to a point where I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? If if I don't got a if I don't got a hit record on the radio right now mm -hmm. or on the airwaves, I ain't gonna get booked. Right. You get what I'm saying? You Talk not. to me about this though. This is what I want to know. What's up? How are you able to have? So we know that you, you like, bro. This ain't get me no money. I want to go on tour. How are you able to go on these tours? How you, how are you, how are you even putting together these tours if you don't have a hit song on the radio? I got hits for sure. <laughs> but we think about people that's touring. We think you don't hey, gotta have a hit record on the radio to tour. Mm. You gotta have a hit record. So you tour. putting this together yourself or the label is doing this? No, this is this is our team. This is my independent team putting tours together. Okay. The label, the label ain't put one tour together. They never put me on no tours. See, All the, the tours I've been on, been us. See, I love this space because I'm ignorant, and they say ignorance is bliss, yeah, but I can sure. get the questions that so many people probably have, right? Mm -hmm. And I embrace that. It's okay. So, But I'm asking because sure. usually for the the average person, right? Yeah. If somebody, for lack of better words, not trying to offend you, if somebody's not hot, right, mm -hmm. they're not thinking about them going on tour. Yeah, for sure. So I'm trying to figure out what goes behind it, right? Like, how are, are your team, are your team saying, yo, let's go on tour, these are the, are y'all looking at the analytics on, I don't know, iTunes type shit like that? You gotta look at the data, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know where your fans at. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can see where your biggest fans at. Make a post, who wanna see me go on tour? And whatever, whatever. That, making a post ain't gonna really get do the justice, because everybody probably won't see that post, but it's just going into your back end and seeing where your people at, mm. and just basing your tours. Me, what we did, what we did, we, 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 you got A markets, you got B markets, you got C markets. You know what I'm saying? A markets like Atlanta, LA, New York, Miami, Houston, that you know what I'm saying? Like them the, the cities everybody know about. You got your B markets, which is like the Huntsville's, the North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You like you got different type of we the strategy we had was like fuck up the C's and the B's first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Go out go to go to all them cities that nobody really fucking with, that people don't come out to. You know what I'm saying? That that won't shows who fans, but can't get it. they can't get it. So we go to y'all city, you know what I'm saying? That's why I, when I used to uh, like post my tour dates and motherfuckers be like, what the fuck is that? Okay. I didn't even know what the fuck it was. You know what I'm saying? But I knew I had fans out there. And I know once I go out there, they'd be, whew. And, okay. all, and, and all you got to do is take that. Oh, yeah, this shit loaded. Even though it is in real life, it's loaded. Go to the B market. they like, oh, I got to get a piece of that. You can take this to the A market. You know what I'm saying? And you look up. Sold out dates. Sold out dates. So. Yeah, that shit ain't easy, though. That shit take forever. The only thing you can just go out and think you about to just, uh, uh, uh. That what shit time took did years, bro. Huh? At, at what time did you see the turnover out there? My last float tour. Okay. Float tour. Okay. I want to yeah. ask you this. I, I've been studying you, right? So I know I know you're a, you a confident dude, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you know... Even if niggas don't know, mm -hmm. you know the importance you you hold for sure. to this industry, right? For sure. Knowing that, talk to me about the times when you did have the people like me who don't know no better and be like, K can't fell off. Yeah, for sure. You heard that. I heard, How was that I making heard, you I feel? I heard all that shit. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, don't know artists. Would you like to hear that as an artist? <laughs> you feel me? Don't know artists want to hear they, they fell off. But niggas got to understand what's, what's, what's the definition of falling off. Nigga use that term so loosely. What is falling off? Falling off to me is fucked up somewhere, got down under a bridge mm. with no paper, with a box saying, can, can I get some food? That's falling off. When nigga, when nigga speak in the aspect of, of falling off musically, like they don't hear you on the radio, they don't see you visually, that's not falling off. You know what I'm mm. saying? Every player got off season. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta go back to practice. You gotta got there and get back in the gym and get your skill, get your skill set up and come back out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like during that time when nigga was saying I was falling off, we was I was working on Kiss Five. We didn't drop three, four projects underground. It built the fan base. The reason why we was torn, you know what I'm saying? I didn't. I, lottery was getting cooked up. I was on. I recorded Lottery on tour. Mm. You feel me? So when niggas was saying falling off, it was, of course, some shit I didn't want to hear. But I'm like, Phew. wait till we got there and unload this clip on the air. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna get the last lap. It was always that conversation. Like, how the hell we fell off? Mm. Nigga, I do this shit in my sleep. I make hit records in my sleep. I can write. I can write any label favorite artist. I was doing it in 2012. I was getting flew to LA to write for 
Wiz, Gates, T.I., all these niggas that was signed. I've I been doing this shit. So mm -hmm. how can a nigga who got the pen, who everybody trying to sound like fall off? Mm. It don't make no sense. I could take a break. Like right now, I dropped Kiss Fire a lot. All this shit went platinum. You know, the, the fall off turn, turns. I went platinum and about to go gold. That, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm taking a break and, break and I'm doing fashion now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to drop three three projects this year. Okay. Three of them. 2023, you're going to do three? Three of them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do that. Let that, let that, let let the independent run go. Let that money flow, and then just have a little fun. Just chill a little bit. You say everybody won't have that off season. Yeah, for sure. But listening to you, it's easy. It's in hindsight, it's easy to have this conversation. Yeah, for sure. I want to know about in those moments before you even learned that. You know, bro. Every player had that off season. I'm trying to f pick your brain at what you thinking then before you even get to the to the understanding of it's okay. What I was thinking then, we gotta turn this shit the fuck back up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was no other uh, no other thing in my head. It was like, these niggas got me fucked up. Mm. I gotta show these niggas what's happening. Cause I ain't, I ain't the type of nigga that's gonna fold and just back down and go in the corner. Like, I gotta, sh you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm playing against a beast that niggas don't beat. Mm. I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, in, you know what I'm saying? Playing a video game, trying to get to the top level. I done finally got to the top level. Niggas know they gonna get their ass whooped and go back to the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, that, but, those times, remember we used to You play feel me? You go, you Motor Combat. You, you, you like, oh, I know this nigga about to whoop my ass, you know what I'm saying? But that's how like, I was looking at this shit is rigged, man. You feel you me? You can't beat this shit. But that's how I was looking at the game. Like, if I got them get through all this shit, I know I'm gonna have to go see the. the I know I'm about to get my ass whooped. You feel me? But I'm going toe to toe with it. And I fuck around and won. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I looked at it. Like, I'm 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 facing, I'm facing the devil itself. Like, What's happening? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't show y'all niggas I ain't no hoe. I didn't show y'all niggas like y'all can't fuck with me. And those moments when you think like that, cause it's it, it's it's definitely positive. But did you catch yourself, or looking back, did you catch yourself treating people, I don't know, a little unfairly, or being a little bit too mean or old, old edgy because like you had this chip on your shoulder and yeah, you wasn't sure. able to recognize during it? that time? I was, yeah, for sure, cause I had I had a lot of personal shit going on during that time too. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people in my family dying. Mm. It was it was back to back. I right, asked my daughter. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot mm. of shit going on. And at the same time, my career was online. So I had to really like, I wasn't just dealing with a career. I was dealing with life mm. all around. So, you know what I'm saying? But every day, I'm making sure the vibe set around my, you know what I'm saying, my game, around the bitches. I'm, I'm making sure everything, nobody feeling like, because I'm the head nigga. I, if I'm walking around in bits, Sad, looking like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, the morale around this bitch gonna be fucked up. So I'm keeping that shit up, you know what I'm saying? Even though, uh, I done took another loss, I done took another loss, I done took another loss. This nigga said I fell out, this nigga said I, this nigga, I see my bank account got down, oh, how I'm got them get some paper, you know what I'm saying? All this going on, I'm popping perks, I'm got them like, fuck it, we, we lit. You know what I'm saying? We gonna just party through the pain, you feel what I'm saying? Mm. But during all that, I still had vision. I still had a... I came in this game with a certain goal, and in my head, I'm like, what I look like just not, you know what I'm saying, thriving for that shit. What I look like giving up on that shit, you feel me? So that was always in the back of my back of my mind, just this shit ain't over yet. That nigga might think it's over. That nigga might think it's over. That that bitch might think it's over. I'm going to show you motherfuckers. You know what I'm going to show you motherfuckers. Y'all don't know what hand I got. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what I'm playing with. Y'all don't know who I know. Y'all don't know who I got in my corner. Y'all don't know what. Move, I got plotted next. You know what I'm saying? That's why I never count nobody out in this shit no more. Because I know exactly what the fuck I did. Mm. So for me to be like, ah, oh, that nigga over with, I'd be a fool. Because you can't count nobody out. 